the triathlon wave hit the shores of the Philippines in the late 80s. Through hard work and continued support for the sport, triathlon became one of the major sporting events in the country. Its growth throughout the years turned Subic Bay into one of the most sought-out race venues in the Philippines. And at the helm of these historic moments is one race that came all the way from the shores of Hawaii. For 11 years, it turned into one of the most anticipated triathlon events in the country that tests the physical and mental limits of many athletes. It brought people from all over the world together, forming a thriving community unlike no other. And it has allowed brave souls to earn their place in the country's sports history. This is the 2019 Century Tuna Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay presented by Big Boss Cement. More than 900 athletes are gathered at the shores of Subic Bay for this historic event. As soon as the sun lights their path, the athletes are bursting with excitement to take on the Ironman 70.3 race. It's a nervous excitement because obviously it's my first, I want to do well, um, and it's it's hot. It's very, very hot out, so I'm excited to challenge myself in that way, uh, but the nervous energy is one of those things that I always believe you have to have a relationship with your fear, that the fear is there for a reason, and you want it to be there, but then you just, it's up to you how you want to utilize or how to direct that fear. So I'm going to use it to fuel the race and to be really excited about it. And while some race to manage their fears, others simply do it for the love of the sport, inspired by those close to their hearts. My husband, uh, he was, I think, uh, six years ago, started triathlon, uh, and I always followed and supported. I love the environment. I love being part of um, the support to those athletes that were out on course and I decided that I wanted to do one. Uh, so I entered my first race, absolutely loved it. I loved the, the thrill of the race, the, the challenges that it, uh, it provides and the finish line, the experience, the satisfaction afterwards. So I think, um, I think those are the, the things that got me into the sport. Carrying both the excitement and love for the race, they prepare to conquer the first course. From the Subic Bay Boardwalk shores, they will charge against the 1.9-kilometer swim course, then head back to the transition area. And despite how tough it looks, Connor McKay sees this as an opportunity to test his strength against the other professionals in the historic event. It's a, it's a different caliber of racing against these these top guys. I'm I'm just looking forward to, to getting the chance to race some of the best in the sport and, and just uh, challenge myself to, to go a little bit better each time I get out there. Debuting his first professional race in Subic Bay, Connor is more than eager to face the mighty course, ready to take everything it can dish out. Uh, my motivation is just, I guess, the, the challenge that comes from it each time for me. I think that every course has its own unique challenges and obviously the heat here in Subic Bay and the, the hilly terrain is going to be a bit more difficult for me. So each time I try to find something difficult out of it and, and push myself a little bit harder to try and achieve my goals with it. Have a safe day. We'll see you all at the finish line later on this morning. As the Warriors measure themselves against the race, the horn blows. And the men's pros dive against the sea.
And then a few minutes later, the horn sounds once more, signaling the women's pros to charge against the waves. While the women's pros are braving through the sea, the age groupers prepare for their time to shine. Inspired by the thrill of reaching the iconic finish line and the celebration that comes afterwards. Ang motivation namin dito, lalo na ako, matagal na ako sa triathlon, ang motivation ko, matapos ko lang to ng, ng maayos, masaya, para mamaya party-party na kami. Ganun lang, uh, enjoy, enjoy the race. But for this team of honorable lawmen, they dared to take on the race to show the country that they are committed to their job as well as their physical well-being. Um, kasi kami sa mga sa kapulisan, eh, medyo na kontroversyal kami na medyo malalaki katawan, matataba. So kailangan namin mag back to basic na maging physically fit at para maging makita ng mga tao na fit kami talaga sa trabaho namin. Determined to fulfill their goals, the age groupers face the sea head on, diving not a second later after the signal was given. In the same moment the age groupers are battling against the waves, the men's pros are now returning to the shore. It's a close fight early in the race as Alexander Polizzi places first out of the water, followed closely by Sam Betton, Tim Reed, Tim Van Berkel, and Ironman Philippines champion Nick Baldwin. Then the women's pros start hitting land. Leading the pack is Guam's super swimmer, Manami Ijim. A minute behind her is Caroline Stephan and Laura Wood, while Lisa Tayak and Dimity Lee Duke make up the last two of the top five women's pros out of the water. One by one, the athletes rise from the depths of the sea. Motivated by their recent success, they run towards the transition area, ready to face the next challenge. The historic Ironman 70.3 Subic Bay race can be a tough sport to conquer. But the challenge it brings is what got the triathletes addicted to the historic event. Kind of reels you in. Well, it is addictive, that's for sure. Um, I guess it's just doing a longer and longer distance. Can you finish it? Can, can you make it faster than your last race? Can you improve on your performance? Just an improvement, I guess, personal improvement. Such improvements can only be acquired through a series of rough training. And for some athletes, balancing training and work is no simple task. I have to manage my time because, you know, as a lawyer, uh, it's quite busy for me to, to do my work every day, Monday to Friday. So I would squeeze in my time training for swimming, running and biking in between my work. So Monday to Friday, and also I do, I do long distance biking during the weekend, maybe not less than 150 kilometers every weekend. But despite the difficulty, the athletes stay committed to their training, knowing fully well that it's all the boost they need to overcome the bike course. The two-loop 90-kilometer bike course will start with the athletes exiting the waterfront row 
where they will head to the lush green mountainous view of the Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway. Once they make the final loop, they will ride their way back to the transition area. At the helm of the course's 13-kilometer mark is Alex Pulitzi. But Tim Reed displays his relentlessness as he took the lead at the 30-kilometer mark from Pulitzi, gaining momentum throughout the course. Behind the top five of the men's pros is 2018 Ironman Philippines champion Nick Baldwin, whose career as a professional athlete was inspired by the idea of clearing an impossible task. So the first uh, exposure I had to Ironman was a TV program of Ironman Lanza Rossi, and I think this was in 2006. And I remember just seeing the, the TV package and the highlight video and thinking it, that it looked like an impossible feat to try and accomplish. And from that moment on, I, the, my goal was to see if it would be one day possible for me to finish an Ironman, let alone be competitive or race as a professional. 